Hey guys, what's up Virgo? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. It's going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. Um, keep in mind that the energies can go both ways, so reverse flip-flop them as you need to. Um, also keep in mind this is a general reading. So it may not resonate for everybody, but if it does with you today, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Virgo. Also, if you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. All right, Virgo. Media future for the birds. Thank you. One more card. Thank you. All right. Damn. One card, please, for the outcome. A lot of happiness around you. There's been a new opportunity or one, one to come. Um, it is the Ace of Pentacles, so that could be just about anything. All right. So we have Sagittarius energy here as well with yours. Victory at the bottom. Damn. All right, Virgo. So the sun. Show me the sun for Virgo, please. Happiest card in the deck. Damn, with the Ten of Cups. Something here is making you like ecstatic. Uh, your heart's your heart's happy. Your world is happy. All right. What is the Seven of Pentacles? So either you've been waiting on this. Or you're finally investing, like you've been investing time and energy into this. Okay, so you're waiting on this. You're not letting go hope of it, though. Or somebody is not. Definitely, like, something, this could have been something that's ended here. Somebody could be at a distance. There could be some type of separation. Um, could have kind of cut somebody out there. Show me this Ace of Pentacles for Virgo. But shit, this makes you happy. Whatever you've been waiting on. Um, or vice versa. Somebody is not letting go of it. Show me this eight of, Ace of Pentacles, please, for Virgo. Okay, so this is your energy here with the Hermit popping over. Um, you haven't really been taking any action here. It's been on your mind, or at least, or vice versa. Flip it how you need to, okay, guys? Um, so there's a new opportunity here. Um... Like, possibly from an Aquarius here at the bottom. Um, but there is love here. Somebody you want to communicate with. Somebody that truly, truly makes you freaking happy here. But, you know, somebody's kind of all up in their mind here. Overthinking things so they don't really know how to proceed here. Uh, we do have your energy there next to the Four of Swords. So it's not like taking any action on this. But it's definitely on your, on you know, on your mind. Um, thinking about this a lot, whatever this new opportunity is to you, because damn, it makes you happy. Um, and possibly even waiting on it for a little while here. It's not like too, stop overthinking though. Cause for some of you, it's like all that's on your mind or it could be, you know, that you're really on this person's mind, but you've just been waiting for this, um, for a while. Shit. It does, I mean, shit, it makes you completely happy. Show me this page of pentacles for Virgo, please. For the immediate future. We have Sagittarius energy here. Show me this page of pentacles, please, for Virgo. Thank you. Tower. So there's a tower moment coming. Some of you guys could be moving here as well. What's this tower? Okay, so yeah, somebody is trying to manifest you. I don't know um, that they're doing it very quickly. Or you are, because you still have that hangman at the bottom. And we have somebody, like, so stressed, so worried. Like, can't get this out of their head. It could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Regardless of what this is, though, there's a lot of love here. There's no actions. Um, you know, somebody could really be very attractive to you here or you feel like you know you always gotta like look your best around this particular person or whatever this is um but somebody does you know they're kind of being patient though they're going with the flow and kind of just letting things happen naturally 
uh, or at least they have been. But, you know, now they have, or you have, the tools to manifest this. Um, there's definitely a soulmate connection here. It could be a Leo as well. Um, first, in order to come forward, though, it's like somebody is falling in love with you or vice versa. Um, or you have a lot of love for this situation. But you gotta, somebody's gotta get out of their head in order for, um, you know, things to really pick up here. And it's not even in their head in a bad way. It's just stressing so much. Like, constantly. And it's like all somebody can think about. Somebody definitely, you know, needs to speak up and speak their truth here. Get some type of clarity here. Because, you know, there is mutual love. So somebody is manifesting this. It's possibly, you know, like I said, taking it, its sweet time. But it, there's a tower here. So there is kind of a change. Um, we go from this waiting period to actually somebody starting to manifest it. I'm not sure how far it's going right now. This is just the media future. Um, but that's that change. Kind of going, yeah, putting in the work. And you may not see this right now. Or this could be a Pisces as well. Um, but it's kind of going from this, this time of waiting and being patient and then there's that tower moment and, and, you know, it's like somebody starts making this happen. It starts creating this new opportunity does whatever that is for you, but you've been waiting on this. Yeah. You, it's like you never lost hope in it. Whatever this is for you could be a Gemini. But definitely a soulmate. A lot of love, a lot of happiness here. Alright, Virgo. Hope this helps. Hope this resonates. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. You guys take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.